Hello and welcome to a small add-on of the explaining series, as you could say. Um, as I said in the last video on Arcane Forest, I would give you an update as soon as we figure out a strat to get 107, and we did get 107, so here you go. So for the start, you basically do the exact same first strafe, uh, then you go around here, that's all the same as we did previously, but now, what I used to do, I used to jump here, strafe there, actually I used to jump here, and uh, turn a little bit to this side, and then strafe. But what I do now is, I just strafe immediately, I don't jump again. I, I don't take another jump here, which is faster. It, it, I mean, it's not really faster, it just makes you do your strafe earlier, which is good, because you need to do your third strafe as fast as possible. Which you do here by walking a little bit right there, and then strafing right there. That's how you do the start. Some people have been complaining about the third strafe not working. Uh, so what I would advise you to do here is use a left strafe for sure, because that makes it easiest. And then try to be on this green clay block, or on top of it at least, with pressing A. And then don't strafe immediately, because if you do, you will touch that water. So just wait a little bit before you strafe, and then you have to be not further out than two blocks from the wall, because if you are not, you will fall into the water right there. So just be two blocks out from the wall, and it should work every single time. Let's go to the end. So we're at the end here, and you go off this jump boost, that's all normal. Immediately use a strafe here. Be careful to uh, to use it on the left block of the jump boost, because if you don't, you will clip the ceiling. Go up the stairs. I prefer to use auto jump for that. Go up these stairs. Yes, the RNG hole is annoying. We all know what's happening here. And now, uh, yeah, for the end, for the absolute end part, and of course, yeah, I was joking about the RNG hole. It's hard to get over it, but you have to walk over it in order to not lose time. And yeah, it's frustrating if you fall into it. Uh, but you you're gonna have to do it. There's no way around it. Uh, and I clipped here. I'm gonna get to that in a second. Strafe, and another strafe. So what happened here? Um, I clipped there. Obviously, I did not want to clip, but figuring out after looking into this, uh, that clip was actually necessary. So again, what we used to do here, you go up this, uh, you go up on top of these things, uh, on top of these dispensers, and then you strafe immediately. Now what we do is we do one more jump and then strafe. Uh, another thing you have to be careful about: if you strafe immediately when you land, you're gonna hit this top thing. So you need to wait a bit before strafing, and then strafe. Just wait a tiny little bit before you strafe longer than you usually do. Um, it's not a, it's not actually hard uh, that hard. You just, yeah, you just gotta strafe a little bit later. And then for the final strafe, obviously, you just wanna wait until you get it, and then just spam click your mouse button to use it immediately. There's not really much to it, but the main strat is that you use your strafe a little bit later up here, so you get more time to use your last strafe. And yeah, that clip actually was necessary. You, I still had to slow down to get it back. But that doesn't mean that you necessarily have to. If you get around with perfect pace, um, for still being able to use these strafes, then you might not have to clip. So I would always go for not clipping there. But if you do clip, just be aware of the chance that you could still get a 107. That's basically all to do with the rest. is obviously still the same if you want to know how to do the rest. Watch the main video, I'll link it to you right here, and I'll also link this short add-on uh, in the main video. I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, just a little add-on to tell you how 107 works. And yeah, hope you enjoyed.